I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is some binary, and we're going to be subtracting. So if you would, pause the video and see if you can try to do this one on your own. All right. So when you think of subtraction, you think of borrowing, right? So let's look at uh, an easy example first before we tackle this one, and that's with decimals because we're really used to that. So if I have uh, 101 minus 93, well, that's pretty straightforward. I'm going to need to borrow because you know I need something here. 1 minus 3 is negative, so I need to borrow. So you go over here, 0 has nothing, and so you have this 1. So you have to break apart the 1, right? which here it's 100. So you have 100 comes to 0. And then you have, well, I still have 100, right? And this is the tens place. So I can break that up as 9 tens. It's 9 tens, which is 90. And then I have a 10 left, which I can put in here with my ones. You see that? So borrowing is just breaking things apart. So you subtract this, 11 minus 3 is 8, and then 9 minus 9 is 0. So 101 minus 93 is 8. With binary, it's a little tricky. We know that if I look at a simple example, uh, 1 minus 1, that's obviously 0. 10 minus 1. Now 10 is what number? Right, it's 2. So I have 2 minus 1, which is 1. Right? I can simply borrow the 1, make this a 0, right? Because if I just focus on 0 minus 1, it's going to give me negative. I don't want that because this number is greater. So I need to borrow, so that would be 1, 0, which is 10 as a binary number. As a decimal form, it's 2. So 2 minus 1 is 1. Now, what if I have something like this? I have 100 minus 1. What's 100? 4. So what you can do is you want to go this direction and then this direction. You need to break that 4 apart. Remember, this right here is a 2. So I'm going to put one of those, 1, 2, making this 1. And then I have 2 more, which I can do that. So then I subtract. So this is 10 minus 1 or 2 minus 1. <laughs> right, which is 1, this is 1 uh, minus 0, which is 1, and then it's 0 minus 0. So hopefully this helps looking at these two examples, because what you're doing is you're borrowing, which in other words is regrouping. You're just transferring things over. So let's look at the example. 1 minus 0 is 1. 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 1 is, uh-oh, you have to borrow. So you go over, you go over, okay, I'm going to borrow this right here. That becomes a 0. And then over here, instead of dropping 9s, you're going to drop 1s. So that 0 becomes a 1. And then this becomes a 10, right, in binary. So this is 10 minus 1, which is 1. This is 1 minus 0, which is 1. Then I have uh, 0 minus 1. Can't do that, so I have to borrow. This becomes 0, and that becomes a 10. 10 minus 1 is 1. Uh, this is a 0 right here, so I have to borrow. So can't borrow here, have to use this one. 
that changes to a zero, drop the one, that becomes a 10. 10 minus one is one. One minus zero is one. And then zero minus zero is zero. And then one minus one is zero. So your final answer, I'm gonna drop these zeros right here so you can see it is one, 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 zero, one. And that's it.